forecast. Here's Damon Singleton. Yeah, it's looking pretty good uh, outside all across southeast Louisiana. Today's the 247th birthday of the United States Marine Corps, so happy birthday, Marines. With that, let me take you out to the Atlantic Basin and show you what's going on out here. And the answer is not much except for uh, what uh, we're following and what we've been following for the last uh, several days, which is Hurricane Nicole, now Tropical Storm Nicole. And Nicole is just about in the center of Florida uh, right now, moving on a westerly or west-northwesterly course at about 14 miles per hour dropping lots of rainfall across this entire peninsula, stretching into Georgia and into South Carolina as well. All these symbols that you see here along the coastline, those are wind reports, some of them are 70 plus miles per hour all along the coastline there. And the wind field stretches all the way up uh, to the Carolinas. The winds have been pushing water along those eastern facing shorelines for the last couple of days. So storm surge is definitely an issue, not only for Florida, but for the Georgia coastline and the Carolinas as well. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast track looks like this thing is going to maintain its status as a tropical storm for the rest of the day today and into your Friday, continuing to make its way across Florida into Georgia and then the Carolinas as we get into Friday morning and Friday afternoon when it will probably become a remnant low at that time. So we're going to follow it very closely and we'll let you know as things change. For us here locally, we've got big changes on the way with the frontal boundary that you see here. The temperatures behind this front are very cold. The Arctic air is moving in our direction and you're going to notice a significant drop in our temperatures Saturday, uh, but especially into Sunday as that front makes its way through our area on Saturday morning. It's also going to bring us a slight chance of rainfall on Saturday, but today no rainfall on the radar uh, at all. Not expecting that to change at all today or tomorrow for that matter. Here's a look at the tides uh, for you fishermen and fisherwomen. 1.4 is the range of tide over in Grand Dow, almost a foot at the Wrigley's and almost two feet over at the Southwest Pass. There your low tide and your high tide times and your temperature Temperatures outside anywhere from 9 to 16 degrees cooler than they were at this time yesterday, which means Bogalusa, you're at 49 degrees. Slidell, you're at 50. Bell Chase Naval Air Station reporting 59, while Homa is at 56 degrees. This afternoon, I'm expecting your temperatures to rise to the mid to the upper 70s, some mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Uh, tomorrow, I'm thinking your temperatures are going to be in a little bit higher in the upper 70s to the low 80s. And then as we go into Saturday, after that cold front brings a slight chance of rainfall, you're going to notice the temperatures, your afternoon highs only up into the mid 60s, upper 50s for highs on Sunday. But you're going to notice the lows on Sunday and Monday morning on the North Shore in the 30s. All right.